the window. So, may itik talaga ako sa sunlight and fortunately, my place right now has a real good view of the east where the sun rises. But even before then, when I'm in the office, I usually prefer yung desk na accessible sa sun or near the window. I'm guilty about this, pero Facebook, specifically yung memories, and kasi nakakagising siya, both in a cringe-worthy way, like looking back on ano yung pinopost ko noon or who I was back then, but also in an inspiring way kasi nakita mo how far you've come throughout the years from that time. I think just by the definition of it, integrity should come first. Integrity is something that you can practice on your own and it sets the tone for all your actions thereafter. Supporting a humanitarian organization against uh, poverty, that's World Vision. So I became a child sponsor back in 2014 or 2015, I think. It was through a company initiative. So I halt siya nung I left the company, but I just started it again um, last January 2020. First of all, hard worker, definitely. Second, maybe proactive. And then third, growing. Because I, I believe that I'm always growing. If it counts, I actually self-talked a lot this morning <laughs> to get me out of bed and to prepare for this interview. No nag 1,000 subscribers ako sa YouTube. And I also really started that YouTube channel during the pandemic to kind of inspire others to be more responsible and make wise decisions about their money. So hitting at 1,000 subscribers before the year ended last year was was really validating for me na I, I can make a difference in the community. Back when I was in college, I joined a student demonstration. It was against the tuition fee hike of the state university where I was at. It was a simple gesture, like I just wore red and that's it. The tuition fee hike would affect the next batches after me. And I feel like even if it wasn't a success and the tuition fee increase, I still like stood up for something. First job is an audit associate for an up-and-coming audit firm. If I'm not mistaken, my first salary was 16000 First thing that comes to mind is for my future. Investment is for my future. I consider being able to send my brother through college an investment. I consider experiences as an investment. And I think the biggest one was when I planned to send my whole family to Singapore for a trip. But maybe in the traditional uh, definition of investment, the biggest one is my condo unit. I think I'd have to correct that na investing is for those who want to be rich. And as someone who uh, didn't come from much, investing is really instrumental to me getting to a richer life right now. So that skill is really crucial. The first thing I would do definitely is to travel because I'm not really big on material things. I don't ng like mga gadgets or luxury bags or shoes. Ganyan. But I do like trying new experiences and part of that is travel. First place I visit um, I actually, there are actually trips that were postponed last year since the pandemic. So my college friends and I are supposed to go to Bali. Pero yung high school friends ko naman din are planning to go to Japan. They're very different, Japan and Bali. But yun nga, different experiences. So I'm excited to do any of those in case everything is okay na and we're allowed to go out. So, my advice for first-time investors, firstly, is just do it. What's the worst thing that could go wrong if I do this? 
And if you think about it, you'll realize that the worst thing isn't really that bad. It's actually manageable, it's reversible. The only remaining thing is for you to do that action. Secondly, I would say, is to start small. So, sabi nga nila, nothing great was ever built within a day. But if you start now, if you set that first stone, then in no time, you'll have an empire. Especially right now, marami ng mga investments that have a minimum initial amount of like just 5,000 pesos, like with FAMI, for example. That really helps for you to get started and then things will just snowball from there. Like sa akin din, hindi naman ako nag-invest ng one time, big time. It was a constant habit that I formed through the years and that's how I ended up with a sizable asset. I think third and finally is to look for a reliable and legitimate partner. So whether that's the investment fund manager that you're working with or just someone that inspires you to invest in like influencers for example. Because it does feel scary when you think that you're just alone in this investment thing. So you have to surround yourself with people and advisors that will guide you and will help you through it. So you'll become more comfortable and you're always motivated towards your goals, whatever that is, as you start investing.